we're going to be talking about the metric system and how to convert between the different prefixes. In the metric system, there are three bases. If we're doing length, we're going to be using meters. Volume is liters and mass is grams. Usually you don't see meters, liters, and grams by themselves. If we look around, we see prefixes such as kilometers or millimeters or centimeters or nanometers. The prefixes that we'll be using in chemistry are these on the left. Kilo is abbreviated K and it's one times 10 to the third of whatever you're talking about or a thousand. So there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. All the other prefixes are less than what you're talking about. So centi is one times 10 to the negative two of whatever we're talking about, or a hundred. In other words, there's a hundred centimeters in a meter. Milli is one times 10 to the negative third, or a thousand. Micro is not an M, notice it is the Greek letter mu. It's kind of like a U with a tail. It's one times 10 to the negative six, or one millionth of whatever we're talking about. Nano is N, and that's one times 10 to the negative ninth, or a billionth of what you're talking about. And Pico is lowercase p, and that's one times 10 to the negative 12, or one trillionth of what you're talking about. Notice most of the prefixes that we use in chemistry are very small because atoms and molecules are very small. Go ahead and pause the video and figure out which prefix these are referring to. Restart when you have your answers. A millionth of a gram should have been micro. A thousandth of a meter should have been milli. A thousand grams is kilo. And a hundredth of a meter is centi. The first problem you should have in your notes is to convert 3.179 hours to minutes. We're going to be solving this using dimensional analysis. I'm aware that you could probably solve this just in your head or with your calculator. You will not get any credit for solving the problems that way. You have to follow this problem solving method of dimensional analysis. We will be using it throughout the entire year. So this first example is one that you should be familiar with. That's why we chose it. You first set up a dimensional analysis grid like so. Then whatever was given with the unit goes in the upper left corner. We were given 3.179 hours. Whatever unit was given always goes in the bottom right, so they can cancel out. The unit that you're converting to goes on top. So notice my hours will cancel out, leaving me with minutes. Now I plug in my conversion. I know there's one hour and 60 minutes. Your conversion should always equal each other. So if it's on top and bottom, they should be equivalent. So one hour is 60 minutes. My hours cancel. And so now all I need to do is multiply across. So multiplying across, I get 3.179 times 60. And I get this number. But we do need to put in the correct number of significant figures. So my first answer, or the number given, had four significant figures. So rounded to four significant figures, you get 190.7 minutes. We didn't use number nine on the last problem, but we'll be using it a lot in this unit. It says that when we're converting within the metric system, all the definitions that I gave you a few minutes ago always put the one with the prefix. And then we define that prefix in the other part. So one millimeter is one times 10 to the negative third meters. 
Again, we get this conversion from right here. One millimeter is one times to the negative third meter. So let's try this one together. Again, the first thing we're going to do is write what's given with the unit. The unit always goes down here, and what I'm converting to goes on top. We're going to put the one with the prefix. The prefix is the one with two letters, kilo meters. Kilo is our prefix. So one goes with kilometer, and a kilometer is one times 10 to the third. Again, getting that from the chart. Do not get confused and put millis prefix because that's not milli, that's meters. It's one kilometer is a thousand meters. In this case, my units cancel. I have one on top, one on bottom though, in which case I have to divide them. So in the calculator, you're going to type in 1.43 divided by 1 times 10 to the third. Remember to use the EE button. Doing so, you get 0 0.00143 kilometers. We have three significant figures, three significant figures, so we're good. You also could have written it in scientific notation. Either of those is correct. Try one more together. We're going to start with what they gave you. Whatever unit given has to go on the bottom. Whoa, we're converting to goes on top. One centimeter is one times 10 to the negative two meters. So again, I'm getting that from here. Centi is 1 times 10 to the negative 2. They're next to each other, so I'm going to multiply. 378.4 times 1e negative 2. Don't forget your units of meters. I have four significant figures to start with and end with, so I'm done. Again, you do need to set up your problems like so. Do not just move the decimals. We're learning a process here, not moving decimals. Go ahead and try this one on your own. Restart when you have an answer. So for this one, we have 4.32 times 10 to the negative fourth grams. Grams on bottom, micrograms on top. One microgram, because again, this is my prefix, is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 6. I multiply the top, divide the bottom. So 4.32 times 10 to the negative fourth divided by 1 times 10 to the negative six gives you 432. I have three significant figures. I end with three. So I'm good.